Rightio, today I'm going to show you how to move products from Easy Lister over onto our site. So first we're going to need to log in to Easy Lister. And we're also going to need to log into the admin section of our site. Right here. As we can see here, this is all our sales through Trade Me. What we want to do is look for an order in the wholesale products. So look for anything you want. Um, I'm going to choose a vendor here which I know sells electronic goods. And we'll take this here. That's cheapish. They've got plenty of stock, 38 of them. You can choose as many of them as you want, and you click copy to Easy Lister. That way, it saves that product to our own list. So, this here is just setting it up for Trade Me. To, we don't want to do that, so just click save if this comes up. Usually it just says item copied. Right, continue logging in there. Radio. so we'll go to our products. And we'll look for the ones that we've copied over, so... We've got this one here. We've got 38 stock. Okay, so we'll say so list 10 of them on our site. So we want to go to uh, catalog, um, categories slash products. Now, if the product for this item is made, you click new category and you create a category for it there are any subcategories that it could be classed under that category you create them too but we've already created the category for this so we'll just go into that and the memory card so what is it that we want? Oh, it's a 4 gig one so we list and make sure it's not there it isn't so we list new product Okay, we make the date available from yesterday so that it shows up straight away. Um, the name, it's following following the rules of all the previous um, uh, items. We name it. And we go. Oh yeah, if we just don't worry about this. Uh, the text, just enter in the price. So, okay, we can buy it for sixteen dollars. Um, might want to do a little research, see how much um it can be bought for. So I'll just do a search and trade me here. Here we go, okay, um, those guys are idiots. <sighs> uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll look it up on a website, we'll try Playtech. Um, so here, flash memory. Okay. Well, we might have to just sell it for 20 bucks, okay. So, we'll type in... Yep, um, we 
go back to the product here, we double click on it. That'll bring up its listing page. Yep, we just copy all this crap here. And we whack it in here. We want to take out all um, information that could make it not want to be sold, such as the available capacity. Okay. Alright, now to so give it all the gaps in the lines, um, we type in that there. So you just copy it to the end of every blank line. That way we can make it look all pretty and whatnot. Like my face. <laughs> And we want to delete that there because that's going to lose us some sales, isn't it? And we'll make sure we've got correct grammar in here. <coughs> correct spelling or whatever. And we'll say we've got ten of these, um, what was it, it was a, oh I can't say what it is, who cares, probably only weighs about a gram, that'll do, and we'll save that, and you're done, see, oh we need an image, better do that, so, go back into it, go to images.google.com and we search for 4 gigabyte um, TF maybe yeah se search for the product so you can get a picture right here we got a brilliant picture first time um, it's unbranded so we can use that without causing too much confusion. Um, we'll save it as 4GB micro TF. Save. Okay. Um, better edit this. Um, where are we? Choose file. Down here. <laughs> um, select the file. There we go. Nah, it'll upload that when we click save. D it, the sizes aren't much, so it'll upload fairly quick. When that's all done, um, See, it looks all good there. We can just go back to our site.